Hi everyone, Google's asynchronous coding agent Jewels is now public. Earlier, Jewels was on a beta program and people were using it. Now we have the version 2.0 available for public and the best part about Jewels is it's a web-based coding agent where you don't have to set up things locally. All you have to do is integrate your GitHub repo and give your prompt and ask it to do the changes that you wanted to do. So without wasting any further time, let me show you what exactly Jewels is all about. And let's add few changes into one of my applications that I've created with Tray AI. And uh, let's see how good it is. This is the official uh, website of Jewels, an asynchronous coding agent developed by Google. This is not an actual desktop application. Instead, this works entirely on web. Jewels enable us to integrate our GitHub repo directly to Jewels and work on the cloud. It has a virtual machine by itself where it gets our code into its cloud VM and do the changes for us in that VM. So you don't have to clone the repo into your local. Instead, you can right away do everything on the web. So let me quickly try this one. So click on try Jules here. I have already connected my GitHub. Now all I have to do is just get the project that I want to work. This is my repo, advanced calculator. Let me show you what exactly this app is all about and uh, what are the changes that we are trying to make using Jewels. So I have created this app uh, using Tray AI. So this is an advanced calculator. This calculator has all those basic calculation features that we require. Plus it has this scientific features as well right here. You can do the scientific calculations. Also, this calculator has the options of currency conversion. So you can convert um, the currencies right here. And um, there are unit converters right here, weight, temperature, volume, and all those things are right here. Now, the changes that I'm trying to add to this particular application is, right now, we don't have any problem. But when we move this to light mode, you can see the the keys layout for these numbers are not quite visible. So we want an outline for these keys. And also you can see that the alignment for these two keys, this reset button, a delete button, it is slightly to the left, which we need to make it to center. And also we can't see the brackets right here to do scientific calculation. We really need those brackets. So we wanted to add brackets. We need to add outline to these keys and align these icons to the middle for these two keys. So these are the few changes that we wanted Jewels to take care of. So let's see how it is going to work. Here is my prompt. In light mode, add a dark outline for buttons for better visibility. Then add bracket keys for doing scientific and other calculations. And center the icon for delete and reset button. Then click on create plan. So it is booting up the VM. Okay, let's see how well it is going to work. Now it is cloning our repo. All right, now we have four steps right here. One, update button styles in SRC components. Okay, add bracket buttons, then implement bracket functionality. All right, now we'll give approve plan. Click on this approve plan. Okay, now we have this notification right here saying plan approved. So now it is working on the outline. So we can see right here. Now it is working on few files and you can see both the files right here. Now let's see where it is going to. Now you can see the changes right here. What are the new changes that it is trying to add? So there is a new line added in line number 14 input parenthesis. All right. Now you can see a snapshot of the application right here where there is an outline and the icon for delete and reset button is centered. And also you can see the brackets right here. Great. Now we have the summary right here ready for review and about the changes with 40 new changes and um, um, 17 uh, lines were removed. Now we have feet or uh, hard calculator enhancement. This commit introduced several improvements to the calculator and about what this change is all about. Now you can publish this branch. So this is under feature calculator updates. So what are the other options? Publish PR.
okay first we'll publish the branch then we'll create a pr okay now we have it right here the changes so these are the changes that or uh, jewels did to finish the task okay now let's see if it is working correctly now first let me fetch now check out now let me check out to this branch feature okay now you can see the outline right here and the icons are centered great now let's see if there are brackets okay now let's see if that works right plus three now we have it working so which means it successfully added the visual changes and those brackets and well it is working great now let's add a landing page to this calculator okay we'll add a landing page as well okay. now i am trying to create a new landing page for this application with screenshots and boasting about the features that it does so let's see how well it is going to create that so we have the response right here it says of course i can create a landing page for the app to showcase its features and display screenshots here is my plan create a new landing page component then update routing incorporate screenshots verify results okay if you approve this plan i'll get started right away okay approved so i just gave the test approved earlier it gave me a toggle to just move forward so something like this then i clicked on that button and started working okay oh, all right it's working right now great i'll start working on the landing page right away okay let's see how it goes all right it seems like the landing page is created so we have it right here landing page create new landing page with the who displays the screenshots then we have some routes main application is moved to at app route to accommodate new landing page the navigation and routing have been up updated accordingly okay now let's publish the branch okay it is on the same branch so all i have all i need is to just pull the latest changes and see okay okay we have okay we have those screenshots right here all right great cool now we have the landing page right here all right it is it added both of the screenshots right here with light mode and the dark mode then advanced calculation it also added the features as told like advanced calculation currency conversion unit conversion calculation of history all these things are right here now we'll go to this launch app okay once we click on launch app we have all the functionalities right here great cool so the google's coding agent is really great so jewels did the work perfectly i didn't have to prompt it twice everything that i wanted i just gave it once and it did for me so it was able to find what exactly need to be changed and it did it it's on so it's really great at finding what exactly the problem is and trying to fix it for the free plan we have 15 credits so out of that for this task i just used one so we can go to limit and plans and see how it does so we have this plan comparison right here so we have 15 free credits for 24 hours so you can work on concurrent tasks three concurrent tasks 
and the model that is being used is Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then we have in Pro and Ultra two paid plans where in Pro you get a hundred tasks a day and for Ultra you get 300 tasks. Pro you can work up to 16 concurrent tasks and in Ultra it's 60 and both of them use 2.5 Pro but with higher access and priority access are right here. To upgrade to this Pro or Ultra plan all you have to do is to subscribe to the Google's AI plan and I'll drop the repo link of this particular application in the description and you can go through the repo link and uh, evaluate it by yourself and let me know how well it came out and uh, what do you think about this application in the comments. Till then this is Castro Joseph signing off. Bye.